Amen. Say to God next to faith is focus. Faith can speak life. You can speak things into being. Things that are not yet, you can speak them into being. Amen. You can speak to your saved husband as if he is saved. You speak to people about your saved, your wonderful husband, but you know he's actually a very rude buffalo. But you tell your friends about your wonderful loving husband. Amen. You're not lying. You're speaking faith because God laid on your heart. Give God a hand. Amen. You know your husband, he acts like a buffalo. But you speak things into being that is not yet there. You say, oh, you say to your, 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 your friends when you drink tea with them or whatever, you say, no, my husband, I've got a very loving, wonderful husband. So gentle and so kind. But you know he's a buffalo, but you don't lie. <laughs> you speak it into his life. Amen. You speak that into his life. Amen. Afrikaans, jy roep die dinge wat nie is nie, asof hulle is, is not lying. Amen. You call things that are not as if they are already there. You speak faith. And you know that you speak faith. You, don't, you know you don't lie, you speak faith now. Because that is what you want there in Jesus' name. And that's what God, God's will is for your husband. So you speak his word into his life in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. You speak so good about your husband. Your friends think, I wish my husband was like that. In the meantime, <laughs> and God will soon come because of your faith and come into the situation and fill the situation with, the, with his perfect will. Give Jesus a hand. Pray with me. Father, let your kingdom come as it is in heaven. Let your will be done as it is in heaven. So also in my life, in my marital life, in my family life, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Say to the woman next to you, speak life into that buffalo. <laughs> in Jesus' name. Say, say to the woman next to you, uh, the woman only, say, say that buffalo husband of mine is a kind, gentle buffalo. Give Jesus' hand. Amen. You keep on speaking life. You keep on speaking life. You speak faith. You speak God's word into his life. Amen. You will see change. I don't speak about positive thinking. Positive thinking is nonsense. I speak about thinking God's word into a situation. Speaking his word into a situation. That is faith. There is this foolishness. Give Jesus a hand. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I remember long ago there was a, the, 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 the positive confession movement. I just got saved. And there was a movement, a, 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 you can say a branch of the faith movement, the positive confession movement. And what you would do is, if you are, a, a, you, you are, you are too big and you want to be thin, you, you look like that, but you say to everyone, I'm thin, I'm thin, I'm thin. And you believed that you're going to become thin. That was foolishness. You're not going to become thin by doing that. First of all, you need to take some action. Eat less. Amen. <laughs> Cut the sweets out. Amen. And the bread out and the cake out, okay, to begin with. And then you speak God's word into your life. Positive confession is nonsense. I don't believe in that. I believe in God's word. Give God a hand. Amen. <laughs> Being positive is not going to help you nothing. You need God's word into situations. That is faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing God's word. And God, God is watching over his word to perform his word. So you speak God's word into, your, uh, and into that grumpy husband. Amen. You speak God's word into his life. And if he's unfaithful, you say, Lord, I thank you for my wonderful, faithful, loyal, good, friendly, gentle husband. Amen. And you keep on doing that. You're not lying. You speak God's will. God's word into his life. And the Bible says, he watches over his word to perform his word. Give him a hand. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you okay with that? God's word can do anything. He watches over his word to perform his word. Amen. I mean, he said, let it be life and there was life. Let it be light and there was light. 
and, and he said, let, let there be green plants, and they're still growing today. You can go outside and go and look. They're still growing because of one time that Jesus said, let there be green plants. Give God a hand. Amen. So Jesus gave us the example of speaking faith. But you do not speak nonsense, not positive confession. You speak God's word. God's life is only in His Word. God does nothing without His Word. And His life is in His Word. There's nothing outside of His Word. Amen. You speak God's Word into every situation. Therefore, you need to know God's Word in the finest of detail. You need to get God's Word not into your brain, but into your heart. Amen. Amen. You speak God's Word into every situation. Because He watches over His Word to perform His Word. You have an attitude of God's word. You are the living word. Jesus became the living word. He is the word of God. Then now you also become the living word. When you believe and you are a carrier of the good news and God's spirit is living in you, you become a living word. Wherever you go, you, you are giving the life of Jesus to others. You're giving the life of Jesus into a situation. Into a dead situation, you speak God's word in Jesus' name. Amen. Not denying when something is bad. When something is bad, never call it good because that's a sin. Satanist to never call anything that is bad good because that is sin. So denial is not faith, please. That's lying. Satan is to denial is not faith. Many people are confused. Denial is not faith. If I say today to you, there's too much corruption in our country, I'm not speaking negative. There's too much corruption. I'm not going to deny it. But I speak God's word. And I say, Lord, you have appointed the leaders in this country. I speak integrity into their lives. Your integrity. I speak God's word into their lives. Everyone will change. Give Jesus a hand. Amen. It doesn't help me. I judge or criticize because a judgmental heart and a critical heart, a person that criticizes all the time, he is a fellow worker of the devil. Satan God is to the one who complain and moan is a worshiper of the devil. A person that moan and complain all the time, stay away from him. Because to moan and complain is to worship the devil. Satan is to denial is not faith at all. You need to know what's going on and around you and start then to speak God's word into situations. And you do not judge and you do not criticize. You speak God's word into situations, into people's lives around you, and you will soon see change in Jesus' name. Give Jesus' hand. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Go to Hebrew 11, please. Look, there's many people that lived an awesome faith there. Hallelujah, say my faith is in Jesus. Hallelujah. Satan going to faith is not denial. Denial is lying. And that positive confession movement I speak about, that was absolutely lying. You say you are thin, but you are not thin. The only way that you are not lying concerning your situation is when you speak God's word into your situation. I mean, you are not moved by what you see, but you are moved by God's word. Well, when you are moved by God's word, you speak God's word into the situation, knowing that his word, that God watches over his word, and that then situations and circumstances will line up with his word, because his word is a stronger man. His word is Jesus. Jesus is the strong man. And when, 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 when there's a strong man in the area, and another strong man come in, and that strong man is stronger, that other one need to leave. Give Jesus a hand. Amen. Quickly. Say, Lord Jesus, let your will be done. You are my strong man. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. 
as it is in heaven, so also in my heart. There's no place for the devil's will in my life. In Jesus' name. Say, you devil, your previous strong man, out of my life. Jesus, you are my Lord. Give him a hand. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, verse one, 11, Hebrew 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance. I like that. Give God a hand for substance, man. Faith is substance. Faith is not denial. It's not lying. It's not reckless. It's got substance. What substance? The substance of God's word in a man's life or a woman's life. Substance of God's word in our lives produces steadiness, stability, and we cannot be moved. Give Jesus a hand. You cannot be moved. I mean, when you meet a person that is really uh, heavy, he's got, he's got a lot of weight, he stands like this, you try to move him, you find, yeah, this one feels like a pillar, you cannot move him. Now that is fleshly substance, that's not always so good, I mean. But you need spiritual substance so that you might not easily be moved. I mean, that substance is God's word. Give God hand for his word. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. What give you hope? Say God's word is my hope. Some things in God's word already happened in your life. But some things still need to happen. And that is hope. And this hope does not disappoint. Never give up on this hope. Remember, Abraham lived on this hope for many years and he got his promise. So did Samson. So did all the other heroes of faith. They got their promises when their hopes, which they never gave up on, turned into great faith. The moment when God released it. I mean, say at the right time. Say God's timing is the best timing. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Now, hope for is not your hope. This hope is a biblical hope that is absolutely, totally God's word and God's desires. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will put His desires on your heart, and that will give you true hope. There's false hope, and there's true hope. There's false faith, and there's true faith. False hope is when you yourself hope, some, hope for something. True hope is when God has placed that something there. He has placed the hope in your heart. And now you trust in the hope that the Lord has laid in your heart. Delight yourself in the Lord. And He will put His desires on your heart. And He will bring them to fulfillment if you do not give up. And He will grant you the grace not to give up. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, say to the too. It is a foolish person that shrinks back. Amen. Say, my faith is in Jesus. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I mean, the spiritual realm and the things that God says is to me more real, and I'm honest, than anything I can touch. Jesus is more real to me than anything on this earth that I can touch. The Holy Spirit is more real than anything on earth that I can see or touch. God's promises is more real to me than anything I can see or touch. It is more real because the things that you can see and touch... As temporary things that will pass away. That's why I say to you, the things that you cannot see is more real unto me because I know they will never pass away. The things that I cannot see will never pass away.